I uh, first heard about the race when I ran Mud Crew Play in 2017 and uh, anyone that's run that knows that when you, you finish that race you get handed an invitation to run this so basically from that point onwards I've always wanted to come back and run. I've spent my formative years growing up in Cornwall. So yeah it really really means a lot like sentimentally as a place but yeah as soon as I got the invitation I knew I needed to come back but needed a few more years for sure to to feel like I was ready because um, yeah obviously the winter conditions super tough um, but yeah feeling ready ready to go and you know really happy to be back racing after it feels like a long time that we've all been away. Step wise, it was really, really good up until about kind of November, I guess, and then COVID hit for Tom and I and a few kind of bugs and niggles, but I think that's probably the same for a lot of people. So I think we're all pretty much in the same boat. So it's as good as it always gets, really. I'm never fit enough, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> Round Land's End, get to St Ives and then coast home. Um, so yeah, objective is completion. Anything else happens, great. If it's a good time, great. But you know what, let's complete it. Let's go home safely and let's enjoy it. I live in Birmingham, so obviously it's a bit of a trek to get down here and back in a day. So I haven't had a chance to wreck it. I, I'll probably regret that. I think I'm probably going to end up wandering around in the dark looking for the little arrows, the little acorn arrows. But we'll see. Hopefully it goes well.
yeah, I'm just trying to sort of stay within myself. I've had a bit of a cold this week and uh, be careful not to sandbag, but I'm happy I'm feeling like this here. So one mile at a time, eh? Well, I'm from Minnesota, United States. I've been in the UK though for 11, 12 years, so. <laughs> I've never been on a Cornwall before and it's fantastic. Beautiful. Unfortunately, it's dark now, so. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You've done the, you've done you. the wrong race to take into view. Well, well, that's exactly it too, yeah, yeah, so. Well, we had a fantastic sunset, so. Yeah, yeah, it's Yeah, oh, it's great for visitors, yeah, it's man, just excellent.
<laughs> Off the head of my person. Oh, you're so welcome, my clever boy. How you feeling, mate? Oh, a bit nervous, Lloyd. <laughs> Glad to get going. <laughs> Cheers. I'm excited and a bit nervous. I think it's a healthy combination. Yeah. It looked a really interesting race. It's running winter. I like being cold. Um, and also, it's just a lot of up and down, but really gnarly little paths. Um, I'm really looking forward to just seeing how I go on different, it's completely different to anything that I've done before and that's what I like, I like to challenge myself in different ways. Fantastic. You've got a hell of a well course done. there, haven't you? you? enjoy it? Uh, well, maybe in a few days I'll like <laughs> Parts of it I didn't enjoy at the time, but looking back I might enjoy them. Congratulations you. on your black bottle. It's all worth it in the end, isn't it? Yeah. Rice, Ashley Ward, uh, Stephen Scobie. Of pretty much any race I've done, this one had the least stuff go wrong, and the it, it was quicker. It was it was a quicker time than the the ambitious race plan. So 
I can't, I don't really have much cause to complain. There was a, I probably stopped for a little bit too long at places towards the end. And like, so I always think, oh my God, I could have you know, saved myself another 10 or 15 minutes there if I hadn't done that. But um, it's a time that I wouldn't have ever dreamt I could get a couple of years ago. So I can't, I can't complain. <laughs>